Today we're looking at the Bougie RV 100 watt portable solar panel. The people at Bougie sent me one of these to test and this is a lightweight suitcase folding style portable solar panel so let's jump right in. So in this review we'll take a look at the design of the Bougie RV, uh, how you set it up, the compatibility with portable power stations, the technology behind um, the solar capture, and uh, some real world testing that I did of the solar panel. So before we get started, please like and subscribe. Thank you. So unboxing the Bougie RV, what's inside, what you see is what you get. So it's basically a very thin foldable solar panel and there's a pouch on the front which holds your connector cable. Um, you can see it's very thin and, and it's it's easy to carry around and easy to set up very quickly. It's also waterproof and dust resistant, so it's great for camping. Um, you can bring this and sit it out in rain and it, it won't get damaged. Uh, it's also one of the lightest solar panels around because it's about 10 pounds and I've seen a lot of 100 watt solar panels be like 15 to 20 pounds. You have these really large um, orange grippy handles at the top for carrying the solar panel. The hardware specs are, it has maximum power of 100 watts, a maximum power voltage of 19.8 volts. The cell type is 9BB. The solar cells efficiency is 23.5, and we'll get into what that means later. And the temperature limits are, you can use this anywhere from negative 40 degrees Celsius, I'm sorry, Fahrenheit and Celsius, all the way up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Celsius. So this is combat compatible with 12 volt chargers, meaning that it will plug into your portable power stations, DC 12 volt. Um, you just need an adapter for the MC4 cable. It comes with an MC4 connector and my portable power station had an adapter that I was able to connect to this cable and then plug it into my 12 volt DC input. The MC4 cable is stored in this little pouch on the front of the Bougie RV. Uh, let's get into the technology because this is really where the Bougie RV stands out. So it has 9BB half cut self design and monocrystalline technology. So let's uh, look at what those two pieces of technology do. So it's made with a type of solar cells called monocrystalline. And these are designed to capture more sunlight, more usable sunlight, and convert that usable sunlight into energy or electricity more efficiently. Uh, conversion efficiency is a measure of how well a solar panel converts absorbed sunlight into usable energy. So most solar panels have a conversion efficiency between 15 and 20%, which is kind of crazy because when you think of all the sunlight that's hitting the solar panel, well, about 15 to 20% is actually getting converted into electricity. The Bougie RV 100 watt has a conversion efficiency of 23.5%, which is every percent, even half percent really counts in this regard. So it's at the highest end of uh, other, you know, similar solar panels on the market. Another feature that's like one of the Bougie RV standout feature are the 9BB cell, half cut cell technology. So BB stands for bus bars and bus bars uh, connect to individual solar cells within the panel. So the more bus bars you have, the more efficient the solar panel is at conducting energy. A lot of solar panels have five BB technology, so they have less bus bars. And so they're not quite as efficient at conducting energy. So the more bus bars you have, the more efficient overall your solar panel is going to be. Um, these 9BB cells are also more durable, like they will crack less than 5BB. So, you know, they're more efficient and they're more durable. The solar panel is made out of a material called ETEF. And this is a material that's often used in roof construction because it performs very well in extreme heat and extreme cold, and it's also dust and dirt um, resistant. 
the Bougie RV has a IP67 waterproof certification, which is one of the highest um, waterproof certifications. So they go from like IP65 to IP66. So Bougie's at IP67. Uh, so in terms of dimensions, when you unfold this, it's uh, about 3.55 feet in width and then 2.15 in length. And then folded, it's 1.77 feet in width and then 2.15 feet in length. So you can set this up really quickly with these um, built-in kickstand legs. And this will set the bougie up automatically at like a 45 degree angle. There's also a four corner hanging hole design. So there's four corners in each of the solar panels corners. And you can see on the lower left here, I hung it up on my wooden fence, which had a lot of leaf, you know, flowers growing on it. But um, this was great because the sun was shining directly on it. So it allowed me to put it at the best position to capture sunlight. You can expand these um, solar panels. So let's say you want to go beyond 100 watts. You can add more solar panels and increase your, you know, your basically your wattage. You can, exp I, 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 obviously there's a limit at some point, but you can expand these pretty significantly. You just keep adding bougie RVs until you get the wattage that you want. So the first test I did was to charge a portable power station, a 500 watt portable power station in partial sunlight. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my portable power station, which is connected up to the Bougie RV. And in five hours, and I started at 0% on the portable power station. So in five hours, I was able to reach um, a battery charge level of 95%. The power station had a max input of 80 watts, which was totally fine and worked well with the 100 watt Bougie RV. And I was able to reach a max input level of 73 watts on the portable power station. So to recap, I know there's a lot of numbers, I was able to basically charge this to 95% in five hours, which is pretty good for solar charging. So the next test I did was in full sunlight. and um, charging the same portable power station, which was again at 0%. This time in three hours, I charged the portable power station from 0% to 72%. And I was able to reach a max input this time at 48 watts out of 80 watts. So on average, the Bougie RV is gonna take about five hours to fully recharge your portable power station, which is, which is good, which is very efficient. So pros, um, I really like the monocrust, the, the, the monocrystalline silicon and the 9BP half cut cell technology do seem to work really well at efficiently converting sunlight into energy. I like the durable ETEF material design, which make it great, you know, for bringing into environments where you're going to have different types of weather, um, lots of dust and dirt. So great for camping. I love the fact that this is so lightweight and easy to carry around. And I like the quick setup with the built-in kickstand legs and the four corner mounting holes. Uh, it's great that it's also IP67 certified. So you can be confident that you can bring this around, you know, all different types of environments and they're not going to get damaged. And the fact that it has a pretty universal connector with the MC4, which works with about 95% of portable power stations. Um, so, in terms of the cons, what I didn't like, there's no built-in USB on this portable power station, and there are ones that come with this ability where you can actually hook a device up directly to the port or to the um, portable solar panel. So, let's say you want to charge your phone, you can just hook it up to the um, solar panel, and it'll charge your phone while it's you know capturing sunlight. Also, this um, the Bougie RV just gives you the MC4 adapter. It doesn't give you any other adapters, and there are some brands that will give you like a few different adapters. Um, so comparing this with a few specific brands, um, I looked at the Renogy, the Dokio, and the EBL Solar Apollo. These are all popular brands on Amazon. So in terms of efficiency, Bougie RV is at the top um, in terms of its conversion efficiency at 23.5%. The battery cells type, the Bougie RV was the only one that I saw that actually had this 9BB 
um, cell technology in terms of they stated it. Uh, I, I, my hunch is that these other brands are using the older 5BB, but they just didn't state it at all, which to me indicates they're probably not using the 9BB technology. Uh, the monocrystalline, you find a fair number of these using that technology, so this is pretty common, except for Renegy is still using aluminum. The built-in art uh, USB, so the Bougie did not have this, Renegy did not, but Dokio and EBL do have that feature. And this is a really cool feature, especially if you don't have a portable power station with you and you really need to charge your phone, you know, you can just charge it directly from the solar panel. So in terms of max operating voltage, Bougie was definitely at the top on this in terms of 19.8 volts. And the other ones um, were anywhere from 12 volts to 18. In terms of weight, Bougie RV was the lightest at 10 pounds. Renegy was 16.5 pounds. Dokio was a whopping almost 30 pounds. And the EBL was basically 12 pounds. Uh, in terms of waterproof rating, uh, again, Bougie RV is at the top. They have the highest certification on this. Renegy had IP66, and then Dokio and EBL both had IP65. In terms of price, Bougie is a little more expensive. It's on, you know, about the same as the, uh, it's, it's the same as the EBL Solar Apollo. But in terms of um, this 9BB technology and the monocrystalline, this is going to allow you to more efficiently convert your sunlight into electricity. So to me, it's worth the slightly more expensive price tag. Uh, so hopefully this has been helpful to anybody interested in the Bougie RV. I highly recommend this solar panel. Um, everything from its design to its conversion efficiency I think it's a, it, it, it packs a big punch um, to be such a lightweight, you know, easy to use solar panel. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching and hope uh, again, join us for more camping gear and tent and portable power station videos. There are solar panel links in the description. And um, please let me know if you have any experience with the Bougie RV or there's other solar panels that you like, leave a comment. Thanks.